Kagame, Tony Blair was mm -hmm. the 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 main man. Yeah, to me, yeah. He was the main man. I mean, Tony Blair. When when Tony Blair ruled this country, you know, oh, personally, was the bee's knees. Yeah. Julia, Rachel, did you what did you think of Tony Blair as a leader? I liked Tony yeah, Blair. I voted I for Tony Blair. You did. Mm. And you're mm. conservative now. I voted Labour, yeah, because I liked him. Tony Blair captured after John Major and them lot mm -hmm. in 1997. Yeah. He was of the people. He went out there. He went and, you know, people felt connected. We're now in a, pro in a period where the Labour Party, and you've all voted for them in the past, many of you seem to quite like Tony Blair. The Labour Party's in a very different place today. They've got to choose a new leader at the moment. Can you tell me the names of all the people who are standing? No. 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 Yvette, Yvette Cooper. Yeah, the Yvette's... Yvette Cooper. Cooper. Yvette Cooper, okay. Who yeah. else is standing? Andy, Andy Burnham. Andy Jeremy Burnham. Burnham. Andy Burnham, okay. Right. Old guard. Old guard, is he? With is Yvette he? Cooper. Okay, old they're guard. the old guard, are they? <laughs> okay. Jeremy Colburn. The older guy with the grey hair. Yeah. The old guy with the... He's got all the policies straight out of the 60s. Yeah. And he's a bit of a hippie as well. Right, he's what okay. he comes across as. Can you remember his name? No. Can anybody else remember his name? Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah. I can't remember the others. Can anybody remember the other person? Liz Kendall. Liz Kendall, okay. Okay, so Liz Kendall. Do you know what these people stand for? Well, if you're to believe what they say in the news, they're just all against Jeremy Colbin. <laughs> because he's, he's the uh, art archetypal baddie. Mm -hmm. He's the one that's getting all the publicity at the moment. What do you know about Yvette? Well, because she's been quite prominent, you know. Prominent, yeah, okay. In the, you know. Do you know any of the things she's saying mm, that she stands for? Or? Not particularly. I mean, Deborah says she's old guard, but yeah. um. Well, she was. She's married to Ed Balls. So well, yes, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, okay, <laughs> there you go. okay, okay. <laughs> Haven't heard no. anything. No, no, no. Of any of them. Okay. What we'll do then is have a look at them talking about uh, some of the things that they stand for and believe in, and we'll we'll see what you how you react to that. Crucially, looking to the future, it means having a credible plan, plan for the public finances and for the deficit. The lack of trust on the economy was the single most important reason why we lost the election. It's the same message that they were trying to portray right up to election time. No, he's not. I don't know. He's... <coughs> Well, you don't know, do you? No, see? I've never met. I've, I've never. That's the first time okay. I've seen him. It's, it's not what it's coming across. Or, okay, it's quite, yeah. right. I thought that he acknowledged the fact that they didn't say sorry during the time of the election and how you, can you expect people to vote for you mm -hmm. when you're not actually acknowledging that you were part of the problem. Any oh, impressions, Julia? With his eyebrows. Just, just <laughs> he seemed what, sorry? A bit young. A bit young? Yeah. OK. He sounded quite credible, actually, to be honest. Strongish leader, mm -hmm. and at least he's acknowledged it and saying let's move on from here as opposed to wishy-washy. I lived through that time when we were in government, those new Labour years, and as I said to you, I agreed with so much of it, but some of it I didn't agree with, and I made that clear at the time. He was admitting where they'd made mistakes, yeah. and he wasn't afraid to admit it. I think he's trying to use the platform like I knew Tony Blair, is it right? Is he, is that, that's all I got from that, because Tony Blair was a, you know, a good persuader. Mm -hmm. I was surprised how long he'd been in politics if he was talking about Tony Blair years, wasn't he? He doesn't look old enough. No. Okay. All of those people with no one else to stand up for them than the Labour Party, than us. That's our job. It's the Labour Party. It's who we are. And we can't just luxuriate in our own righteousness out on the sidelines. She sounds quite positive, doesn't she? <laughs> in what way is she positive? For, like, families. And they were everyday issues. Yeah. Bedroom tax, working tax credits, mainly mum things as well. She was addressing the issues that affect us. Mm. Working affect class. Us she was addressing yeah. issues yeah. with working class people. It's OK to say you want to give all these benefits back to people, yes. but where is this money coming from? Do you agree with it? It was a good performance? Or? Yeah, I think she comes across quite well and she's very well spoken. Mm -hmm. um, she, 
and it sounds positive for people who maybe are in that situation, mm -hmm. but there's a bigger, wider audience than just that as sure. well. She's gone up in my estimation from yeah. hearing that speech, but yeah. I haven't heard that speech yeah. before. And mine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. see, that, that was more convincing, okay. Mm -hmm. I think childcare is something that should be underpinning a modern economy. Universal childcare, and I would scrap the married couples allowance, which I think is unfair and stigmatising, put that money into universal childcare to underpin it. So what you've seen of Yvette Cooper, was that what you were expecting? We had Margaret Thatcher years ago, obviously, and um, I've always thought about being a male. You know, mm -hmm. I, I wanted a man, because right. thinking they're stronger. Yeah. She was very strong and divisive, yeah, yeah. decisive Margaret as well. Margaret Thatcher was very when strong. She was, she to, was a she strong was, woman. Yes. Yeah. You know, it wasn't Margaret Thatcher. Uh, uh, but it was so because... she's been clear, very clear and passionate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And put in the more, 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 more clear than... Um, the other guy before. Andy Burton. Andy. Yeah. 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 Judy, what were you saying? She's, put, she's bullet pointing her points, and she's got the direction with those points and where she's going with it, I feel. I think she's tr actually trying to play down her econ economics background right. to sort of like distance herself from her husband in okay. effect and okay. saying about you know female you know the mm -hmm. things like childcare and stuff it's it's like I'm trying to give myself a softer image I think she's dumbing herself down there mm -hmm. really But we have to have some principles around this. And the principles are of how you approach society. Do we think it is right that the richest five families in Britain own the equivalent of the wealth of a fifth of the rest of the population? I agree with a l most of what he said, mm -hmm. I must admit. Would you vote but we can't, I, I don't think as a country we can afford his principles. Right. I found that he was just going to be the opposite of conservatives so but there yeah. might be policies on the conservative mm -hmm. side agree with, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. might be good so policies he's, he's just but he's just going to be in opposition just shouting <laughs> and throwing yeah. things whatever from the you side. say i'm yeah. going to be opposite yeah. 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 because that's my job as leader of the opposition well it's not he just seems sort of quite divisive and he's just going to kind of bitch and moan to be honest about everything else what about those points he was making about, you know, unfairness? He made a point that he said five families own 25% or 20% of all the wealth in this country. Well, uh, that's talked about homeless always people been the way. Um, it made him sound very bitter and jealous mm -hmm. of the upper richer people. Yeah. Definitely. It sounds like he's going to take off the rich. <laughs> that's what he sounded yeah. like to me. Yeah. He's just going to do more to the rich. Mm -hmm. But why should he be able to do that? Right. What else about Mr Corbyn? Was anything surprising from what you've seen there? Not one of them's mentioned immigration. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. true. That Not is true. one of them's Not mentioned so how they're going to deal with immigration. And that because is... Because the elephant that in the Because the end of the day, with immigration coming in here, £6.50, minimum wage, all the foreigners mm -hmm. working for that. At that point, Tony Blair and the others that have made the decisions are then going to have to deal with the consequences of it. So should he be tried for war crimes? If he's committed a war crime, yes. I have no problem with him, you know, questioning and being mm -hmm. a balance, check and balance mm -hmm. for the party, but mm -hmm. leading it, no. I've read in the paper he's a favourite to, to win the, the, the Labour leadership. Well, if that was him, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't be voting for him at Labour, put it that way. Is he a leader? <laughs> in its early years, the last Labour government delivered three budget surpluses in a row, more than the entire Thatcher major er er era delivered. So when people say that fiscal responsibility is a Tory idea, they are wrong. What are you on about? The, the, the changes in the last, what, 20 years? It's, it's you can't use that as an example. The country's just changed. Mm -hmm. it, we're, not, we're not facing the same challenges anymore. None of it came no from passion. the heart. There was right. no passion. I just you know what I mean? She was just saying, well, this, 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 this. She was a bit timid. Like, she you know. bit timid. Yeah. She, she just sounds like she's just been, sorry, she just sounds mm. like... You know, again, she's doing all, a speech. Yeah, well, like someone's told her to say something. It's not yeah. like coming yeah. from her heart. It needs it's passion. passion. And, yeah. 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 
if we if we go back to the politics of the 1980s, we're going to get the same results as the 1980s, and the Tories, that, the Tories will be in power and will be doing the damage that many of our trade unions have been opposing. So here she's attacking her opponents, but she's also she's attacking Jeremy Corbyn there and saying she's taking it back yeah. to the 1980s with left rather than a, rather mm -hmm. than saying what she's going to do about it, mm -hmm. she's attacking. She reminded me of a head teacher when she was yeah. standing yeah. there, and I thought she's and she was quite boring. She just didn't seem to have any sort of personality and you can't imagine her being a leader of a party. So those people you've seen so far, I mean, which of them do you think is most convincing? Yvette, 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 Yvette. Is that what you would have expected before no, you no, came no. here tonight? Never. No. I think the second one. Yeah, I think the Yvette. Yvette, Yvette Cooper? Mm. Number one or two, yeah. Mm. Right. Mm. With Liz Kendall and Andy Burnham, there's a lot of, sort of rhetoric, but there's not, there doesn't, doesn't seem to be a lot of policy or mm. a lot of direction behind what they're saying. Um, seems to be a lot of words, but no action. No action. Yeah. There's, there's three people yeah. up there that yeah. potentially could still be in it for me. Yes. There's one that I'd never vote for. Which is the what? The, who's, who would you never vote for? <laughs> the, the old chap. <laughs> oh, the old chap, OK. Right. Corbyn, Jeremy yeah. Corbyn. OK. You voted Labour in the past. What would have to change for you to feel like you perhaps felt in 1997 or 2001 or whenever you last voted Labour, 2005? I need to have a, a Pacific leader mm -hmm. that's got the oomph behind no, him. direction where they go. With a party that's behind their leader. I worry that um, obviously the Labour members mm -hmm. um, vote for someone like for Jeremy Corbyn mm -hmm. um, and ultimately the public think that he's unelectable, yes. which that again really only gives us Conservative as a, yeah. a singular option in the next election. You voted Conservative. Yeah. What would check, what would stop you voting Conservative and make you vote Labour? Not much. From what you? No, not really. Not unless David Cam really did mess up big time. But I don't think but that he's done messy. a bad job. Yvette, sorry. <laughs> You're going for a vet, okay. Any more, anybody else for a vet? A vet? One or two. <laughs> what, Burnham or a vet? Yeah, yeah. Burnham, or, so, yeah. Burnham or Cooper? I'd go for Andy Burnham, mm -hmm. only because Yvette's married to Ed Balls. Burnham, because okay. he's talking more about Labour's fundamental principles. Yvette Cooper. I would go for Andy Burnham and then Yvette, uh, okay. well known too. Yvette Cooper. So Yvette Andy Cooper. Burnham. Yeah, Andy Burnham. Jeffrey, Andy Burnham? Um, Colburn and then Kendall at the end. Yeah. yeah. Anybody different to that? No. no. So where's Jeremy Corbyn? Is he last or in third place for anybody? Last. Oh. Last? Yeah. I think he's pr pr a very good politician, but I think he's unelectable as a Prime Minister. What would your advice be to the person who ends up becoming on... Well, they wake up on September the, you know, the 12th or the 13th, whenever it is, and they're now the leader of the Labour Party. What would your advice to them be? What would you say to them then? Get down on your you hands and knees past. and start praying. I think what's really interesting is just, in, a, in one sense, the uphill struggle that any of these candidates face. Yvette Cooper came through very strongly and Andy Burnham. Many people were surprised at how clear and passionate Yvette Cooper seemed. But also it was interesting to see some of the clear principles uh, that people use to judge political leaders. They, want, they talk about strength. They talk a bit about charisma. They talk about having clear direction and policies. And I think the difficulty that these ex-Labour voters have is that, in some ways, none of them uh, were particularly convincing. Jeremy Corbyn, who is very popular in many parts of the uh, Labour Party electorate, um, comes across as somebody who is very principled, but is essentially somebody destined always to be in opposition, just not for any of these groups seen as a credible leader of the Labour Party.